On this edition of JAG TV, find out why many people around South were busy last weekend running into a freezing lake, and how a special group of senior guys is hard at work polishing up their dancing skills. JAG TV starts now. Broadcasting from the Jaguar studio in the heart of Blue Springs South High School. This is award-winning JAG TV. Welcome to JAG TV. I'm Kirsten Gochi. And I'm Patterson Fallis. This past weekend, many South students ran as fast as they could into chilly Longview Lake. Derek Mammon lets us know more. It's become a yearly tradition for the Blue Springs School District that has students and faculty freezing for a reason. It's the annual Polar Plunge for Special Olympics Missouri. We had um, students sent in from Blue Springs High School and Blue Springs South, and then we also had representatives from Delta Woods Middle School, Brittany Hill Middle School, and Moreland Ridge Middle School. And we even had a special plunger today. Thank you very much to our superintendent, Dr. Finley. And for many students, it's not their first time plunging. This is uh, my second time plunging, and it's always a really fun time. And just like last week, I was ice skating on the water, so now to be going in the waters, it's going to be a fun time. The day started out with a peewee plunge, and on to a costume contest where Blue Springs High School took home the Golden Plunger for first place. After that, it was time for the opening ceremony and a final check of the water's temperature. Today, the Longview Lake temperature is 34 degrees! <laughs> Polar Plunge was a success for Special Olympics Missouri and another success for the Blue Springs School District. Our district alone had 85 participants. I'm Derek Mammon reporting for JAG TV. Thanks to all those who took the plunge for such a great cause. Our musical Back to the 80s is coming up February 8th, 9th, and 10th. Tickets will be on sale in the Commons. Our 1785 Blue Springs RoboCats robotics team has been hard at work preparing for their upcoming competition season. Grant Wall has the scoop. The robotics team season is about to start, so we just wanted to do a quick club spotlight. I talked to Mr. Heidi about this year's team. So uh, robotics starts the first weekend of January every year. We learn what our game is, and from then we have six weeks to build our robot. And uh, our first competition is, I think, the second weekend in March. Back in 2016, the robotics team won regionals here in Kansas City and went to Worlds in St. Louis. Uh, the game for 2018 is called uh, Power Up, and our robot is uh, supposed to deliver uh, power bricks to scales and um, towers to try and tip it in our favor, and we earn points for how long those stay in our favor. In this year's game, you have to put blocks on the different levers, and if you control them for a certain amount of time, you get points. And you add all those points up at the end, whoever has the most wins. Good luck to robotics this year as they start to build their robot and look to compete soon. I'm Grant Wall, back to you guys. Good luck to the RoboCats this season. When we come back, we check in on our South Debate Forensics teams and see what's been going on around the city, state, and nation. When Jack TV returns. When it comes time to celebrate for any occasion and you want to stand out, why not get your own customized shirts at Big Frog? At Big Frog, customize your own shirt with the help of professionals at no charge and no minimum order required. Think about it, your very own shirts for your group of friends, team wear, parties, clubs, or your own small business. Stop by today, check out their large stocks of shirts to choose from, and get started on your own design. That's Big Frog located just off I-70 and Blue River Road, next to Jimmy John's. Check out their website at bigfrog.com slash independence or call 816-795-1115. Hello, I'm Dr. Dahlquist of Dahlquist Dental. 
We've been providing family dentistry in the Blue Springs area for the last 34 years. We go out of our way to attend your dental needs. That's why here at Dalquist Dental, we offer IV sedation for those that need just a little bit more relaxation. We take most dental insurances, and for those who need a payment plan, we offer care credit. No matter the age, anyone in your family that needs dental assistance, come see us. Locally owned and operated here in Blue Springs, Dalquist Dental. Give us a call or visit us at our website, dalquistdental.com. We'll see you soon. What I love about Culver's is every time I come in here, they always greet me with a smile, and I'm always happy to be here. The reason I like to work at Culver's is because it's fun, energetic, and I love the people I work with. What I love about Culver's uh, is the energy when you walk in. The employees are always smiling. Um, the custard is delicious. It's always the perfect temperature. Uh, and I like to add a little peanut butter just to add some flavor. We had both our girls and boys basketball teams playing Blue Springs. First, starting with the girls team who played on Thursday losing 44 to 30. The girls record is now 7 and 9. They will not have another home game until February 7th against Lee Summit West. And the boys basketball team played on Friday in a game to remember with the Jaguars being down 10 late in the fourth quarter with clutch plays from multiple Jaguars including a record breaking performance from guard Jared Ravencamp who ended the game tying the school record with 39 points and breaking the record for the most free throws with 17 made. The Jags ended up winning 74 to 70. And cross country runner Tori Finley has won Gatorade Cross Country Runner of the Year for the second year in a row. So congratulations to her for an amazing accomplishment. That's it for sports. I'm Thomas Uti with Jag TV. Now to Hannah with City State Nation. Across the city, Caleb Smith, a nine-year-old boy from Kansas City, made it his mission to collect 500 remote control cars by next Christmas for kids who don't get presents. He already reached his goal and donated 550 cars. After seven years with the Kansas City Royals, Lorenzo Cain signed a five-year, $80 million deal with the Milwaukee Brewers. He will be missed as he has been a major part of the Royals organization for the past seven years. He played a major role in the Royals World Series victory in 2015. This will leave a huge void to fill. Across the state, Governor Graytons has proposed budget cuts that would affect Missouri colleges and universities. The proposal would increase funding for elementary and secondary education, but would come at a cost of $68 million to Missouri public colleges and universities. This will be especially hard for Missouri schools as they already experienced significant cuts last year. Across the nation, Amazon has been testing a store in Seattle for about a year called Amazon Go. With no lines, wallets, or cashiers, the shoppers enter by scanning an app on their phone. When they take an item off the shelf, it is put into their virtual cart. If they put it back, it's removed. It is a, really a store of the future. Lastly, the New England Patriots and Philadelphia Eagles go head-to-head -head in Super Bowl 52 on Sunday, February 4th at 5.30. I'm Hannah Foster, back over to Patterson. Thanks, Hannah. It's now time for our Freedom Fitness Health Tip of the Week. Tracking your workouts can be very beneficial as part of your routine. Doing so can give you reference to where you started versus where you are now, while also providing motivation to get better every day. Tracking can be done in the notes section of your phone or on various workout apps. Now, Kirsten has your weekly reminders. Hey Jags, this is for your weekly reminders. The musical is coming up for teachers in the district review on February 6th at 7 p.m. And for the students, you'll be able to see it on February 8th, 9th, and the 10th at 7 p.m. and at 1 p.m. on the 10th. And for all you Jags that need or want to take the ACT, it will be on the 10th of February, starting at 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. And for the fourth grading period, is coming to an end, February 16th, so get those grades up. That's all for reminders. Jag TV will be right back. All this took was a pristine SAT, ACT, and GPA. Before that, a healthy dose of travel field hockey, volunteering, the arts, and 18 years of everything else. Sending a kid to college is overwhelming. But to solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. Call your financial representative, Stephen Perch, at 816-795-6232.
Watching a cow. Impressions. When did we get a cow? Welcome back, Dags. You may have noticed some students missing last Friday. Andrew Berg tells us why. Last weekend, our very own forensics and debate team traveled all the way to Jefferson City for a tournament. The kids practice every day during the week to get ready for any tournament. So we're here after school every day. Thursdays we're here longer than the other day until about almost 6 o'clock. We did an amazing job. We swept this tournament. We took first place and we beat Springfield Central, which is a really difficult school to beat. They are usually the ones that are that take sweepstakes at a lot of these tournaments that they show up to. And we also beat Blue Springs. They took third place. So we came in on top of, of them even and... Uh, we did an outstanding job overall. Uh, my name is RJ Appleberry. I do humorous interpretation, and um, I got first place, so I guess I did okay. First, second, and third in HI. We took first and second in DI, first and second in informative, and had multiple placings through all the other events, too. Sadly, for the forensics and debaters, this great season is coming to an end. For JAG TV, I'm Andrew Berg. Back to you. Looks like a lot of fun and great job at Jefferson City. At Park Hill Tournament, our first and second year debate and forensic students played well. Hunter and Spencer Lutz got second in duo, and employee Allison Tharp got second. Great job, Jaguars. A select group of senior boys is working hard on perfecting their dance moves. Nathan Rockwell gives us a story. This is just a sneak peek to the opening dance of Mr. Jack. Our senior boys are working hard to make us laugh and raise money for some great causes. So all of the proceeds from Mr. Jaguar uh, go to Teacher Appreciation Week. And so it's for teachers and they get a week long um, treats essentially uh, and little gifts and stuff. Mr. Jag gives our senior boys a great way to make memories and entertain their friends, family, and school. It is often a big occasion that many boys at our school look forward to their senior year. Whether it's prom, playing a sport, or participating in Mr. Jag, it's just one of those things that you remember forever. Uh, I'm in it to win it. Uh, me and my boy Mike. You know, our dance routine is really oh, nice. Mike. That's Mike. Uh, our dance routine is really good this year, you know, so I think we're going to take it all this year. Even though there is a lot of competition between the boys, all of them know they are doing this for a great cause. The winner of Fan Favorite will get to choose which donation they would like the money to be donated to. Uh, I'm giving it to the one by one trip to Jamaica. <laughs> Senior Jags. Participating in Mr. Jag will be carrying around donation buckets, so make sure to donate. I'm Nathan Rockwell, Jag TV. Mr. Jag will be performed on March 8th in the Performing Arts Center, and tickets will go on sale later next month. That's all for this week at Jag TV. Follow us on Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook, and our website at jagtvnews.com. I'm Kirsten Gochi. And I'm Patterson Fallis. Have a great week. Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. Sign up today.